Gambling is only an issue if you go into the red. So if you steal from your friends and family, you're always gonna be in the green. You can always pay them back later once you cover your debts. I like to reckon myself as a keyboard activist. Meaning that if I see something, I'll say something on Twitter. You're not gonna get me marching down no streets, man. I'm in my sweats here. I'll give you five minutes of my time for whatever cause you really care about, and then I'm gonna spend the rest of my day going through TikTok. What, Chinese kids in sweatshops? Yeah, yeah, someone's gonna, someone's gonna do something about that. Point being, I have to be really passionate about a course to give even a little wet fart. And even then, my attention span will probably drift off by the end of the day. But sometimes I gotta force myself to get these hands dirty. And when that happens, oh boy, you done know you goofed up. You got all of this involved. Five, seven, sixty pounds coming in your- coming for your ass. And this time, American conservatives, you better be shaking in your skin boots. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light. Cheers. You are now below. Garbage. See ya. No more Anheuser-Busch products in this house. Bud Light. This, my friends, is a transgender media personality named Dylan Mavainly, who's listed as an American actress, comedian, and TikTok personality, who I'm sure, as you could tell from that video I just played for you, partnered up with Bud Light for a sponsored post. Now, unsurprisingly, people just existing pisses off other people. So even more unsurprisingly, those on the far right reacted very poorly to anything gay. And seeing how Bud Light is pretty much the staple beer of rednecks, they were none too pleased with anything that might make them question their sexuality appearing on a camera that they hold and sit from. And as a result of this began to boycott the company. How would they do this, would you say? Well, they had this brilliant plan. The best way to make change for whatever cause you believe in is to hit the individual in the wallet. That by far is the most effective way to get any point you believe in across. Sure, you could physically beat them up, but if you really want to cripple them, take their cash flow away. Take away their livelihood. And because these individuals are the absolute Einsteins of their population, they realized this and went about enacting their diabolically genius plan. First, drive down to your local Walmart and purchase a case of Bud Light. Second, record a video of you pouring that Bud Light down the drain. Or alternatively, shoot it with an AK-47. Step three, check mates. Now, your first thought might be, well, that's fucking stupid because A, all you've done is actually spent money on the product that you don't want people to spend money on, and B, brought attention to this person who nobody would have known about unless you told me, and C, made Bud Light look like an inclusive company. But, but I pray tell. I don't know. Unless I'm really stupid and these guys are playing 4D chess while I'm playing 2D, the point of this entire exercise is completely lost on me. All you've managed to do is make yourself look really silly, prop up the person that you didn't want to prop up at all, and even manage to land them a better deal. Now to a story which has infuriated feminists. Biological man Dylan Mulvaney, who identifies as a woman, and is now being used by sporting giant Nike to promote women's clothing. Your protest was so ineffective, you made the person you were protesting richer, and got even more people talking about them. That's fucking Sky News boots. I watch them while eating my cereal every day. And because of your efforts, you've even managed to attract two feminists. We're absolutely seething at the mouth that anybody besides their 50-year-old dusty <laughs> are sliding into Nike pants. And personally, I don't think they're mad because it's a non-biological female repping the Nike products. I think they're mad because they know their shit's gone whack. As a result, their husband's not touching them in half a decade because they're miserable, horrible human beings to be around. I'm sensing a little bit of jealousy for Dylan's custom job. Like, Dylan's not been a biological female her entire life, and yet you had a head start by 35 years and you're still that ugly? But you need to be stepping up. My girl over here is running circles around you, Oaks. But let's get serious here for a minute, guys. I, as an individual, don't subscribe to a right or a left-leaning ideology. I think there's merit to both sides in many cases. But if there's one thing that I think everybody should agree on is just leave people alone. But if you are drinking Bud Light to begin with as your main de facto beer, your life isn't very good to begin with. So in all truth, it seems like you've got more serious problems to worry about than the spokesperson of your terrible beer. And and please, even if she is your spokesperson, can you explain to me how it's woke that she is? I want you to sit down in a chair and write down what's wrong with that. The argument that everything is woke just doesn't make sense. It's long overdue inclusion. Do you not see that? Okay, so 20 years ago, was it okay to come out as gay? Sure, in some areas it probably was, but it wasn't a mainstream thing. However, just because it wasn't mainstream doesn't mean there wasn't gay people. 50 years ago, was it okay to be black in television and film? 
sure it was, but you were used more as the punching line than the actual person involved with the project. And now in modern times, trans people are getting the representation they deserve. What do all of these groups have in common? They were always there. They've just been knocking on the door and they're finally being let in. The mindset is wrong. A lot of conservative people have this misconception that trans people are a product of this time. But there have been documented cases throughout the entirety of human history of people not in a sex biologically who have dressed their entire lives as the opposite, who have acted as their entire lives as the opposite, who want to be the opposite. The difference is now in the modern era, we have the technology to make that dream a reality. And it might be strange and bizarre to you because you're from a background where people don't talk about their feelings or what's inside, but the overwhelming majority of humanity does. And they tend to express what makes them them. Let me put it to you in a more interesting way. Do you understand how your own brain works? Do you get why sometimes it's hard to get out of bed? Do you understand why sometimes you're thinking a little bit too hard about your co-worker Stanley? Or how come you have this desire to dream and think, to build, to express, to understand, to know? Well, ironically, you probably don't know. Because guess what? Our brains are fucking complicated. We are a mishmash of bizarre wires, controlling meat sex that flop around and chat. In other words, I'm saying we're insanely complicated creatures that happen to gain sentience. So why would it make sense of such an insanely complicated species for us all to be alike? Every single brain is wired differently. Some people like pum pum. Some people like wood. Some people like wood pum pum. Do they know why? No. For the same reason you don't know why you get up every single day and work a dead-end job to pay for crap you don't even care about, despite the fact that you're inevitably gonna die and can't take any of it with you. So with that frame in mind, why do you care? The only other explanation I can think of is you're scared you might like it. You're terrified that you're gonna crack open that can and something's gonna awake. And baby, let me tell you, it probably will. Let it. There's a couple advantages to dating a trans girl. The number one being, uh, that's a custom order, my friend. See, if you're with a biological female, you just kind of get the luck of the draw. These women, when they transfer over well, man, they can fine tune it. It's like a mechanic in there when they go to the doctors. Yeah, I'm back again. No, 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 I was, I was happy with it. I just felt like you could have done with some Supercharge? Yeah, I wanted to get freaky with it. I thought I'd add some like race strikes or something. Make it look like a fucking pure fire. No, no, you don't have to bring any paperwork. I'm gonna test drive it around a lot later today. I don't want to keep you here longer than you need to be. So I'm gonna bust out two quick points. One, the word woke, it just means I'm being racist. Or I'm just purposely being ignorant. If anybody uses the word woke in terms of dismissing anything progressive, all that means is I don't agree with it, but I don't want to say out loud that I don't agree with it because saying my opinion out loud makes me sound racist racist, homophobic, or ignorant. So I'm using this cute little code word to get around straight up just saying <laughs> I pranked you there, you thought I was gonna say the n-word. That's my sweet treat to use when I'm off camera listening to rap songs. I'm not gonna share it with you, no, no, no. And my other point being, for people who claim that freedom is the most valuable aspect of anyone's life. You only seem to agree with that freedom if it pertains to your own. Bud Light has the freedom to put whoever they want as their spokesperson. Just like you have the freedom to drink any goddamn beer you want. But you don't like that freedom when it's being used against you because you don't like trans people. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. It's in for a penny, in for a pound. You can't just have selective freedom. If Bud Light wants to put trans people on their can, you better sup up and or shut up. You can't be angry that Bud Light's using their freedom to express how they want to express. What you should be angry about is you've been drinking Bud Light for years, even though it tastes like literal piss water. You should have the freedom to ask them to raise their standards and stop worrying about who's on the goddamn can. But if you're still stressed and you're still worried about who's occupying the front of the can that holds your liquid, might I suggest a more productive form of protest? So clearly the way you went about it was an abject failure. Why not try to infiltrate and change minds? Okay, so this is what you do, right? Go to your local bar. Find a local trans woman, moderately attractive, sat alone. Chat to up, buy her a drink, talk to her, have a lovely evening, have a good conversation, maybe go out later on, get some food, get some wine, head back to her place, sleep with her, carry on this process for the next three months, it's your anniversary, oh no, what are you gonna do? Somewhere fancy, not too fancy, wine villa, perfect, romantic getaway, six months after that, take her to Paris, Eiffel Tower, propose, engage, fall in love, spend the rest of your life with her, have a beautiful family, and then finally, on her deathbed, tell her you were gay all along. <laughs> All right, I'm tapped. Y'all need to get out of my house now. It's two in the morning and I ain't built for longevity. Legally, you have to subscribe. Dylan, my love, I wish you the best of luck. Keep doing what you're doing. It seems to be working well for you. Legally, you have to subscribe. See you all later. Bye-bye.